All right, and this, this is, uh, let's see, grade three, module three, lesson 20. And in this lesson, we're going to be using place value strategies uh, as well as adding in the associative property in order to better understand problems like, oh, let's say, 4 times 30. So the idea would be, well, 4 times 30 can be rewritten as 4 times 3 times 10. And then you can use the associative property to say, well, 4 times 3 is 12, and then 12 times 10 equals 120. So that would be one way to do it, as opposed to um, the old traditional way of teaching kids to just, oh, take the 4 times 3, get the 12, and then drop down the 0. We, we, we want to be more thoughtful than just using this little trick. We really want to demonstrate why this works. And it's really, it's a matter of the associative property. So as a stepping stone to ultimately understanding this really cool shortcut or trick or rule, but coming from a numbers sense point of view, uh, we're going to start with a place value chart. And this place value chart, we begin right here with an array. It's a two by five array. So we have two rows of five. And then when you multiply that by 10, what that does is we've learned that if you have 10 copies of something, you can then move it over to the next column. So if you have two rows of five and you multiply by 10, you're basically taking those two rows of five and putting them in the tens column instead of in the ones column. So mathematically, what that looks like down here, down here is two rows of five times by 10 means you're going to have these 10 ones now in the tens column. And 10 ones times 10 means we kind of have to squeeze that into uh, another column of the hundreds column. And that hundreds column means any time you have 10, of 10 in a, a column, that means you can cash it in for 1 in the next column over. So 10 ones times 10 equals 100, but I would write it as 100. All right, similarly, uh, to really demonstrate that that associative property works is we're going to show that here we've got one row of five and if we multiply that by ten we get one row of five in the tens column but then we're going to multiply that by two because now we're going to have two rows of it so five times ten takes these five and moves them into the tens column and then timesing that by two or multiplying it by two just doubles the row and now we have ten items and remember when you have ten items in one column you can cash it in for a single dot in the next column over so that equals one hundred but of course a better way to say that would be a hundred all right. So the idea is students are supposed to see that when you multiply 2 times 5 and then 10, you get 100. Versus when you multiply over here 5 times 10 and then 2, you still get 100. So it turns out multi the way we group the numbers, the associative property, the way we associate the numbers doesn't change our answer. We still get 100 no matter what. So in this problem, we get to practice from a, a more numbers point of view with less place value charts. Uh, so we're going to take that 3 times 20. We're going to change the 20 to 2 times 10. And then we're going to regroup. We're going to associate the 3 times 2 instead. And we get 6. And then 6 times 10 is 60. So let's repeat that process. And I'll zoom in right here. And so repeating that process, the 30 becomes 3 times 10. And then we're going to use the associative property to regroup and get 3 times 3, which is 9. And then 9 times 10 is 90. Now let's practice right here with problem C. So you've got the 40, 
then the 40 can be rewritten as 4 times 10, and then we can use our associative property to get 3 times 4 times 10, and that equals 12 times 10, and 12 times 10 is equal to 120. And I think the last one on this little slide, 3 times 50. Well, we can rewrite that 50 as, technically, we should put parentheses here, 5 times 10. And then we can regroup using the associative property to make that 3 times 5 times 10, which gives us 15 times 10, which gives us 150. So I'm going to slide that and make it all big again. And that's that slide. And for our last problem of this video, Danny solves 5 times 20 by thinking about 10 times 10. Explain his strategy. Well, I think the first thing students and parents and teachers need to know is, are these two the same? I mean, did when Danny is trying to solve this problem, 5 times 20... Are you allowed to think of 10 times 10 to get the right answer, or is that like totally wrong in the first place? So let's use the little math that we've been trying or learning this whole video, which is we're going to take 20, and we're going to change 20 to um, 2 times 10. But then we can use regroup and uh, use the associative property to get 5 times 2 times 10, and now 5 times 2 is 10 times 10, and hey, look at that. Now we could finish and say, hey, that the answer is 100, but the important thing is, look what we got here, and this is what Danny thought of. So it turns out when Danny took the 5 times 20 and solved it by thinking about 10 times 10, he's allowed to do that because it works. He did the associative property. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 20, using the associative property to uh, probably easierly, easierly? That's not a word. <laughs> to, in an, in an easier fashion, solve 3 times 40 by using the associative property to change that to 4 times 10, which then becomes 3 times 4 times 10, which then becomes 12 times 10, which is 120.